that camera with one inch sensor from Sony. Say hello to Mavic 2 Pro. Cool beans. Let's cut to the chase. Now I know what you're thinking. Is it sharper? Hmm, hard to say. Let's turn on the diamond inspector mode and zoom in to 500%. Look at those lines on that building. Is it better? Well, yep, pretty much. Is it faster? Yarp. I mean, is the range longer? Oh yeah, it is 8 kilometers, but don't expect such high quality image, for example, like this. This kind of depth of field and color... Well, oh, wait a minute. Seems like DJI took everything from Mavic Pro and made it better. Look at these vision system cameras. We have two cameras in the front, two cameras in the bottom, infrared sensor, LED, which is super powerful. And if you like, it turns on automatically during low light situations to give the drone a better stability. Two cameras in the back and two cameras on the sides. The lateral visions we have on the sides, they're only active while this drone is tracking or performing a quick shot and another infrared sensor on the top so you don't hit the ceiling. The gimbal is brand new, sturdy and can move faster than before. Also because of its position, now it can look up. You were able to make it look up with Mavic Pro in the past when you go to your settings and turn it on. It is turned on by default in Mavic 2 Pro. The camera is 20 megapixel and it has one inch sensor that you can find in Phantom 4 Pro or actually the sensor you may remember from Sony RX100 series. It has 28 millimeter f2.8 lens and the field of view is 77 degrees and the aperture can be changed between f2.8 and f11. It focuses from one meter to infinity. Compared to Mavic Pro, it focuses a lot faster. It can shoot up to 4K, 30 frames per second, 100 megabits per second video. And it has two modes in 4K. 4K HQ, which is 30% cropped, compared to 4K full FOV which means field of view. It can shoot in HLG, which is HDR. And if you decide to shoot in D-Log-M, which is Hasselblad natural color solution, it shoots in 10 bit. In 1080p, it can shoot up to 120 frames per second. It can shoot an HDR photo, which has 14 stops dynamic range. It can create a panoramic photo for you. And it has hyper light mode if you want to shoot in low light situations. You can get these ND filters if you want to fly in bright light. Mavic 2 Pro costs $1,449. Seems like a pretty competitive price for a drone that is better than Phantom 4 Pro. It's a little bigger than Mavic Pro and it is a little heavier. It can fly up to 44.7 miles per hour, which is 72 kilometers per hour. And thanks to its 3850 milliampere hour batteries, now this can fly up to 31 minutes which is better than Mavic Pro, Mavic Pro Platinum and Phantom 4 Pro. It has these newly designed propellers which is different than the propellers we have on Mavic Pro Platinum and the drone flies quieter. But not as quiet as Mavic Pro Platinum. 
The range is 5 miles which is 8 kilometers and it is the longest range ever on a DJI drone. Because it has OcuSync 2.0, it just doesn't use 2.4 GHz, it also uses 5.8 GHz. And the device connected to your remote now caches 1080p footage coming from your drone. So if you just want to share it on social media, you don't need to download stuff off of your drone, you can just simply share it from there. After all, it's social media, who cares? Do, do you care? No, no one cares. It has 8 GB internal storage, which is great news if you tend to forget your memory card at home. When it comes to intelligent flight mode, it has Active Track 2. Active Track 2 works better than Active Track 1 because it takes your trajectory and guesses where you're going. So let's say you run behind a tree, it will guess that you'll be coming out from the other side and it will keep on tracking you accordingly. All right, now let's test tracking and see if it tracks better. And as you can see, now it shows little dots over people. I'm gonna touch this dot. Now it's tracking me. Let's see how good it's tracking. <laughs> wow, that's, this is really good. What happens if I walk under there? No! No! No way! A little gardening, <laughs> but it was amazing. Oh wow, I'm so impressed. I'm gonna land. You just look out for dogs. Okay, that was, I mean, I knew it was gonna be good, but not like this. Whoa. It also has a pass, which makes the drone go around obstacles instead of stopping. And they made this one better than Mavic Air as well. So I'm just pushing this forward. As you can see, it's going from the right side, left side. Let's center it again. Let's push forward. So it seems like the new a pass, it goes around it in a better way. The previously it would go too much out of its way to go around something this seems like it understands the size of the object and goes around it in a better way and it has this new fantastic feature called hyperlapse where you can define a beginning position and an end position on your drone will fly between them very slowly and you can create a really nice looking hyperlapse at this point, you may be asking yourself, I get it, Mavic 2 Pro is fantastic, but how about Mavic 2 Zoom? Mavic 2 Zoom doesn't have the 1 inch sensor and Hasselblad camera. It has the 1 over 2.3 inch sensor camera, but as the name hints, Mavic 2 Zoom has 4x zoom. And using this feature, it can perform dolly zoom. Now that got me thinking. I can easily shoot an hyperlapse video and choose to save the raw photos from that shoot to my device. Then 
put those files together, match the size of the object in the first frame to the last frame, stabilize it, I think it should work. And guess what? It did. Also, you can find the classic intelligent modes like waypoints, point of interest, tap to fly, and cinematic mode. Oh, also, they changed something else as well. The maximum service ceiling above sea level is 6,000 meters instead of 5,000 meters. And Mavic 2 Pro flies in colder situations, minus 10 degrees Celsius, which is 14 degrees Fahrenheit, instead of zero degrees Celsius, which is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. We have this port here for remote connection. We have this port here for memory card. And then we have USB-C connection here, but you cannot charge your drone using this USB-C connection. They fine tuned the remote controller as well. Just like Mavic, just like Mavic Air, the sticks can be removed and they can be stored down here. So when you want to put this in your bag, these sticks will not stick out. The EV dial now rocks instead of rotating. The shutter button can be half pressed for focusing and the remote controller shuts down after five minutes of inactivity. So let's say you put the drone away, you take the cables out, put it in your bag, but you forgot to turn it off. It will turn off by itself after five minutes. And because it has much larger battery, 3950 milliampere hour instead of 2970, now this will charge your phone if your phone's battery is lower than 40%, which is a fantastic feature. The mode buttons are here and you can switch between P, sport and tripod mode, just like this, very easily. Also, as you can imagine, Mavic 2 Pro turns on and gets ready to shoot faster compared to Mavic Pro. When it comes to low light performance, Mavic 2 Pro performs much better. And when you turn it on, while it is balancing the gimbal, it acts like a cat stretching after a nap. They even added a tiny micro USB cable to the charger, so now you don't need to carry a cable with you to charge your remote. But of course, the biggest question is, can it outperform Mavic Pro when it comes to this? Feeling head good, so I'ma keep on dancing. Let's see those hands, come on! Feeling head good, so I'ma keep on dancing. <laughs> Everybody dance. Everybody dance. Joking aside, I'm really glad DJI took their time to make their amazing drone much, much better. The incredible camera, new gimbal, omnidirectional object sensing, tracking, hyperlapse and more, all that makes Mavic 2 Pro the best drone out there right now. They also chopped off a lot of unnecessary gimmicky things too. Mavic 2 Pro is the brand new Batmobile. If you want a drone or have one but sitting on the fence about upgrading to this, just do it. Whether you're a beginner or not, this is by far the best drone I've ever flown and I cannot wait to take it with me to places. Good job DJI, good job. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Please. Hit that subscribe button. I must have a subscribe button somewhere here on the screen. Hit that subscribe button and play Ding Dong Ditch with the bell next to it and join the world domination. And please let me know what you think about Mavic 2 Pro and Mavic 2 Zoom in the comment section below. If you want to watch a video about Mavic 2 Zoom, I have a link down in the description box. Make sure to check that out. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and host check them. It seems like DJI took everything from Mavic Pro and made it better. For example... <laughs> <laughs>